Hello everybody, it's me, Sharon, of Creative Glam and Crafts. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm gonna to show you how I created this card using the Happy Bird Day stamps and die cuts. I won't be making a birthday card today, but I will, the greeting will be especially for you. It's a very colorful project. It's gonna be an all white frame with a ink blending background that I'm going to be using my Distressed Oxide, my Salty Ocean, and my Lucky Clover. I've already cut out the window portion of the card. This is a custom sized card. I will put the dimensions up above. It still, however, fits in a five and a half by five and a half envelope. So I'm going to stamp these birds out, just the birds, and maybe one of the grass, maybe one or two pieces of grass, and I'm going to use my Copic markers to color them. I'm going to add my images here. I love these little birds. They are so cute. Um, and they look so happy. <laughs> so when I look at them, they make me smile. So I'm going to play some music as I color the birds in. Okay, the coloring is all done. Now I'm going to take and die cut these out.
I've got all my images colored with my Copic markers, die cut with my Physic Fix Shot, and now I'm ready to put the card together. Oh, no I'm not. Actually, I'm not ready to put the card together. Actually, I'm ready to do some ink blending. I'm just going to use my little daubers. I'm not going to use my picket fence, fences brush today. This is my salty ocean. Now I'm going to use some of my um, art glitter glue to add the frame to the blended face. I make a mistake. See what I just did? I just put ink on there. Didn't mean to. Wow. Trying to wipe off some of the glue. I got a little ink on the front of the panel. far less glue with the liquid adhesive as opposed to this tape runner. This tape runner causes me to use far more, far more glue than normal. All right. It's cute, 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 but I also feel like it should be here because and then I'm going to use one of my. Uh, my sentiment is something that I had already um, stamped and heat embossed, especially for you. And I'll use that to kind of cover up that ink splotch that I had there. I hadn't planned on putting it over to the side like that, but uh, that's what I'm do. Right there. So where am I going to put my grass? Okay, so I've got foam squares on the back of my images. Now I'm going to attach them. I'm going to place each bird inside its own window. I'm not going to um, press down on it just yet. I'm just going to lay it there to make sure I got my positioning the way that I'd like it to be. Then I'm going to take the grass. I am not going to pop up. I'm just going to leave that flat. Oops. All right, now I can press them down. They're where I want them to be. Yeah, so that's my stash. 
for when I'm off camera, when I make extras, and uh, they come in handy when I want to do something really quick like this particular sentiment. right here we go that is so cute I like how that turned out those birds are so cute and so much fun especially for you okay guys that's it we're all done I want to thank you all so much for tuning in today I hope you enjoyed my especially for you greeting card for all my returning subscribers thank you so much I appreciate your support and for all my new subscribers, welcome and thank you for subscribing. Thanks for joining the Creative Glam and Crafts team. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button below along with the notification bell. Hit that notification bell twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And don't forget to come back and tune in. I upload new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. And when you get a chance, check out some of the videos I have listed down below in the description box. I'd appreciate it if you leave me a comment, and I'd also love it if you gave me a big thumbs up. And with that being said, you have a blessed day. And I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam and Crafts. Bye!